Yeah, I'm at Cheats at uh, a little after night, nightfall here in the summer. I just want to show you this is where I'm starting in Mill Hall. I'm going to do a little bit of a little bit of inter Interstate 80 and 220 nightlife. What goes on? This this is the beginning. All right, this is right off, right off the outskirts of uh, 220, and that's where I'm starting. I'm at the Quick Fill and. Red Apple, which is the reason why I'm doing these. These are 24-hour restaurants, rest, uh, re rest uh, places you can get stuff for 24 hours. It, it's not at that time right now, but you, do, you can get these. And there's only one day they close, and that's Christmas. Uh, next one. You probably figured the next one probably be this. Uh, the Walmart here on Hoga Boulevard, which has been around for, I guess, over 25 years, I guess. Um, I figured you guys probably want to see the nightlife. This, this is almost like a second home to me, except for Sheets. Maybe this will probably be the third home. <laughs> uh, Sheets is over here off to the side, if you can see it over in the corner. I already filmed a little bit of it, but... I, I figured maybe do a little bit of a nightlife thing and uh, go around around showing you what's 24 hours. Sorry about that noise. It's a tr uh, truck going by that needs to be repaired, I guess. I don't know. Um, they they just put in, a, put in an area where you pick up stuff over there. I don't know. I, I, I'm probably never going to use it. Uh, here's they, they redone the outside of it since, for, for special different reasons. So, over there is the, the uh, what you call it, the garden where you get the flowers and stuff. But I'm going to go and do another one in a little bit here. I'm filming the, the Uni Mart up here, up here in Beach Creek. I just wanted to sh show you this is not the nightlife that Beach Creekers really like. All right. Uh, and really like it because they don't have they don't have to worry about after midnight because lichens close at midnight. I would film them. All right, I'll catch it. Catch you on the, the next one. I'm over at the Valley Inn. Over at the Valley Inn, that, that's open 24 hours. You stop in, get yourself a beer. Sorry about the noise. I'm up here at Flying J, at and the TNA restaurant. Right here is a uh, laser watch, which is open 24 hours. The uh, TNA is open 24 hours. That's over there, over across the road here. Over there, over there. Well, I just stay back. Over there, they used to the re restaurant used to be open 24 hours, but they're only open from 6 to 11 now. But the rest of the building is open 24 hours, like the like the bathrooms and the. Uh, the store that's inside and the place where they, they uh, it's a truck stop so they go and rest. And here's Denny's. This is uh, over here at um, the Flying J. Over here at the Flying J. Denny, Denny's a 24 hour restaurant and now they have Dunkin Donuts Express for you guys that, that likes Dunkin Donuts and heading up towards State College Way. We're in Porter Township, Clinton County. Um, uh, there used to be another restaurant in here that it used to be it was 24 hours too and it was a buffet but the buffet wasn't as good it wasn't good they didn't last too long so it still was flying J the whole time uh, so uh, I just wanted to leave you know about this uh, this area I, I was going to show you around but I, I don't want to show certain uh, over here where the trucker the truckers over there filling up. They do the same over there. They even have the cat scales on that side at the TNA. Uh, I'll be back. Back with the, with the other. I'm over here at the Pilot, which is owned by the Flying J. It has a subway, which is 24 hours. Uh, travel Center. Well, it, it has this. It's a truck, another truck stop, so it's just like the Flying J and the TNA. There are places for, you to, for the truckers to stay. 
Uh, they're, they're open 24 hours, and they're, they're just they're just off of uh, right over there is Interstate 80, so they're just right off of it. Um, uh, McDonald's there is not open 24 hours. I'm just showing you it anyhow. Um, so they're just right off the bypass, and I'm. I'm Filming this from the cottage restaurant, which is closed right now. They're just packing up. So, all right, I'm going down to the next part. Uh, this is the uh, Sunoco truck stop over in near Caro, over over in Logaton. Uh, just wanted to show you that it's, this is a 24-hour truck stop. If, if you're on your way to New York City, to be probably the best place if you forget gas down her sheets I'm over at the uh, uh, eastbound on interstate 80 uh, rest stop here in Clinton County site number 33 uh, I'm just I guess I'll just take it in because I'm uh, because out here it'd be a little brighter here out here it's kind of packed all these trucks <laughs> they're parked here to park here to stay overnight Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Transportation uh, I'm trying to figure out what year it was built but I can say it was back in the 80s probably I take you in inside oh, it's nice warm in here and you can see the vending machines even have the map up here. Okay, the brochures, men's and women's. All right, and oh, and one, one oddball thing you don't see that see anywhere anymore is public telephone. <laughs> All right, I'll get to the other side in a few next.